Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you guys like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us. One big growing family. Thank you so much for your loving support and your beautiful comments. I would like to mention I do have a private crochet group. You're more than welcome to join in my group as long as you have a profile pic there's too many hackers going on on crochet groups so we want to be extremely careful on that um, i also do have a crochet page you can follow me i have instagram and tiktok all of these links will be listed below the video you just have to click and get yourself part of the journey with us um, in the link also below the video, there's a two minute video showing you how to slow down the video. Sometimes I get ahead of my head and I forget that I'm recording. So as a fast crocheter, I try my best, but I do tend to forget that I'm recording. <clears throat> also, and of course it will show you how to zoom in the stitch and also Turn your closed caption on. You could always pause and take notes. I don't write patterns. A lot of you ask me uh, about written patterns. I don't for those reasons. That's why I decided to record the little video. A lot of you still don't know how to zoom in either your iPod or your tablet or your um, mobile phone. And these are easy things to do. I use four ply 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal thread, similar to Aunt Lydia number three. Aunt Lydia number three cotton is a little bit thicker. Your patterns will become bigger. For the most part, I use 2.75 hooks, sometimes three, depending upon the project I'm working on. A small hook and, of course, a pair of scissors. Um, we are going to get started. Please, if you have not subscribed, please join us. Do so. It's free. Um, you're, you're not paying for any of these tutorials. Giving thumbs up also is free. It hurts you nothing to click that thumbs up button. A lot of you see and a lot of you create my patterns and I can see that you are not subscribed yet or little enough. Give a thumbs up. It's kind of sad for us because we work so hard for you guys. We ask nothing but to just like and subscribe. Uh, if you have opinion suggestions that you would like to see more specifically of a pattern, please let me know. Leave leave a comment below the video. And sharing is caring. So if you can share the video through your social media, your WhatsApp, your Messenger, um, highly appreciate it. Thank you so much. I send you guys lots of love. Let's get started, everyone. Okay, everyone. So I just finished doing the tutorial on this bag which I'm pretty happy with it. Um, this was created with t-shirt yarn and I find it extremely difficult to work with because it's very hard and very tough. I mean, it's good to keep bags together, um, but since I'm not used to this type of thread, thread yarn, uh, it was very hard on my fingers. I would rather work with the macrame than this t-shirt yarn, but you know, it's always good to have the experience with a different field on the different things that we can create. I am happy with the bike though. You now the camera is small, very simple and easy. And I also put a hook on, which I mentioned at the end as I was closing out the video. Um, you can put a little hook or you can put a little strap with uh, single crochets, you know, so much wide, it's up to you. But I'm pretty happy with it. It's a very nice uh, little bag to go to, you know, either to the beach or to your little grocery store and pick up a few things. I mean, there's enough room in here. I know that it's, you know, um, cameras, it's kind of hard to see because of the camera is too close to it, but there's plenty of room. So this is 31 line is straight here, 31. And I think, and I'll do it by the handle also. Thirty-two, thirty-three, I would say. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I think it will be a long time before I use this kind of thing, unless you know small things to work with, because it's really, really hard and tough to pull the stitch through this uh, thickness. Okay, so enjoy the tutorial, everyone. 
Okay, everyone. So we're going to create another bag. This time I got t-shirt yarn and I got three different colors. The blue, gray, and then lighter blue, and then white in between. So we're going to try our best to create this bag. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, these are, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's 10 by 11 on the um, size of the thickness. I will have to see which hook will best fit it. I'm not sure yet at this point, but I'll let you know once I figure it out. Of course, a pair of scissors, don't forget. Okay, everyone, so I'm going to try the six, see if that works out for me. If not, then I'll go higher. So I'm going to leave a little bit of string there so we can tie in loose ends. So we're going to do chain stitch. This one doesn't count because it's the... Uh, slip stitch knot and I'm going to do 13 chain stitch knot. We don't want it too loose but we don't want it too wide and this is just going to build the foundation of the bag. Remembering that uh, you can go bigger if you like but remember that this stretches a bit so we don't want to overdo it and have the bag stretch too much. Okay so 13 uh, chain stitch. I've done my 13 chain stitch. Now we're going to go back on the fourth. One, two, three, and on the fourth we're going to do double crochet. Of course when you're not used to working with such thickness, right? And another double crochet on the same stitch. So we have three double crochets and then one per stitch until the last one so we should have eight double crochets and I'm grabbing both um, string uh, in the middle of the whoops the middle of the stitch just to make sure it doesn't start curving building that foundation. So I think it's going to be a beautiful bag. So I've done my eight double crochets. I'm going to come on this last one here. And I'm going to do an increase of six in the same one. So one, Of course, we're so used to working with the cotton thread and way smaller that at the beginning it's, you know, to get it started, it seems like it's a little bit of a challenge. But once you get the hang of it, you're good to go. So we have three. I'm going to do six total. So I've done my increase. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to do the uh, eight double crochet on this side. Just hiding my thread, the one that I said to leave a little bit longer. Oof, you know, you, you, it's a challenge when you're used to working with um, thinner hooks. So we'll try to see. We can work it this way. You figure out whatever is best for you, right? Sometimes it's just a question of getting used to that, those first rows. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do my eight double crochets on this side, and then I'm going to complete. We already have three here, 
I'm going to complete three more to have the six of the increase. So I've done my eight double crochet. I'm going to come in where I have all of the other three and do an increase of three more. So we can complete our six double crochets of increase on this side also. So now we have the six. I'm just going to close it up with a slip stitch on that very first one. always harder to get the first row going once we have that going everything else becomes easier right now we're going to do the increase two double crochet on each of the six increase we did so i'm going to go up one two and three come back in the same one and do another double crochet so that's my increase so we have two more increases to do here and then when we come back we'll complete the other three so two per stitch on the increase And then your eight double crochets from the sides that we've been building. When we come back, we'll complete the two on the three here. So two on each stitch and then eight double crochets. On the other uh, corner where we have the six increases here we have to do two double crochet per stitch give you a total of 12 at the corner okay so i'll meet you at the end okay everyone so finished row two did my two double crochet increase at the edges just close with slip stitch going into row three so make sure you stretch your t-shirt yarn there so I'm gonna go up one two and three I'm going to do an increase on the same stitch so doing double crochet so we'll have two on the same stitch one double crochet on the next one my stitch is always so tight, I never learn my lesson, right? And then two again on the next double crochet. So obviously we'll complete when we come around this side. So, so far we have two increases. We're going to do one more. Next one, one double crochet alone. And next one, two together on the same stitch. So now we have one, two, and three increase. Two together, one alone, two together, one alone. You've seen me do so many patterns with this uh, concept of stitching. Now we're going to do nine double crochets. Now you can do 
um, macrame instead of t-shirt yarn for this. I wanted to try with the t-shirt yarn and see how that works out. So nine double crochets now. So I've done my nine double crochets. On my 10th, I'm going to start to do the increase. So we need six <clears throat> increases. So I've done my first one and the next one, one alone. In the next one, two together. Until you complete six increases at the edge. So I've done my six increase, one, one alone. That's my second one alone, my third one alone, my fourth one alone, my fifth, no, oh, wait a minute, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we're going to do again the nine double crochets and then complete the increase on the other side. This color is so gorgeous, like a uh, blue-gray. Anyway, so I'll meet you there at the edge. I've done my nine double crochets. And I'm going to do my first increase. Two together on the same stitch. And then just repeat the next one alone. and then two together again. So everyone pretty much did my other three increase, so now we have six closed in with slip stitch. Now, the next four rows is going to be exactly the same. We're going to start building the walls up now. So three, uh, three, chain and one per stitch. There is no increases. We're going to start building the walls of the bag. So just one per stitch for the next four rows. Okay, so there's no increase. And it's just a repeat the next four rows. So we'll count this row one to make sure if you want to put a marker, go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do my rows and then meet you at the end of my fourth row. So this would be my first row, just one per stitch all the way around. Of course, you're going to close in with slip stitch, three chain going up into the next one, double crochet, double crochet, simple as that. Okay, everyone, so pretty much did my four rows. Okay. And I'm going to go in with the lighter blue shade. I'm just going to make a knot. Make sure that it doesn't come out of place. And hide the rest of the string. Coming in. Let's try that again, right? No, I don't like it. It's a too thick when it's with this, so I'm going to have to just do it differently. Okay. 
I'm going to stretch it here a bit. Actually, Okay, so I'm going to do my three chains for my double crochet. And again, so we're just continuing to do exactly what we've been doing. Boy, let me tell you, when you're used to working with number four cotton and then you come into this thickness it is a very big challenge for me and takes a lot of strength on this i think i really prefer the um, the macrame one much easier to work with lighter on the hands this is really really hard on the hands i find but you know you gotta try something different okay so you already know we're going to do double crochet all the way around so basically we're going to do again four rows of the double crochets okay I think my my lighting is horrible I don't know what's going on with my lighting here it's much easier for me to work with it on top of my lap than having my hand stretched out and work on here so anyway we're going to do four rows of it this is a very light baby blue okay you guys so I've done my four rows of the light blue. My lighting is just whacked. I don't know why. And I've done a row of white and I've put my markers on already. So I have um, 17 stitch on this side, 17 on this, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is where we're going to skip to do the handles. So I finished this row and mind to tell you that if you want to go bigger, you can. I'm leaving it the size. I think it's a good size. And I'm just going to do singles until my marker. Okay, so I'll finish my singles when I come back around on this side of the bag the purse, the bag, whatever you want to call it. It's been a challenge for me to work with this um, with this t-shirt yarn. Okay, so my marker is there and I'm going to do uh, I don't know yet the height how many chain stitch for the height of my handles. Okay, so you could always fast forward the video. It's easier for me to stitch with it on my lap. And uh, we'll take it from there to see uh, how many chain stitch. I'm going to keep measuring to see if I'm happy with the, with the amount of chain stitch that I have. And of course, doing this side will be the same amount on the marker on the other side also okay for the handles okay so I'll be right back okay you guys so I've done 18 chain stitch and then I'm gonna hook it on the one right after my marker so I think this is pretty good because it's still gonna stretch a bit once you grab the handles I think it's I think it's perfect I know the camera is a little bit too small for you guys to see, but, and then I'm going to continue my chain stitch until 
the before marker on this uh, on this side do my 18 chain stitch and do my single right after the marker so I'll come back to you uh, right away once I am done this has been a challenge with this t-shirt yarn of course um, this is I think my second time that I've used uh, this t-shirt yarn and I'm not used to it so that's why I say a macrame would have been best but as far as to keep it nice and stiff this is the best option for it than macrame okay so I'll be back with you once I'm done okay everyone so pretty much did my singles something was not arriving properly and I try to recount again to make sure. So I have 17 singles on this side, 17 singles on this side. And on the center, I have 10, um, say, uh, 10 double crochets here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I hooked on the 11th for the singles. So I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm going to do single, singles again, now I'm going to come in the center here of my handle and I'm going to do singles. I don't know how many it's going to take so whatever fits your handle make sure that it's well uh, close together like that so I don't know how many it is so everybody's stitch is different so as long as you cover the whole handle you're good to go and then continue with singles all the way around and on the other side make sure whatever amount you have here you have on the other handle on the other side so it's just singles and I'll meet you at the end once I am done okay everyone so I've reached the last one what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this string to the back because we want to tuck everything back there so just bring it to the back and then from there we can cut and tuck in the loose ends so I'm just gonna cut a long piece here make a knot with it here so it doesn't go anywhere and then hide the stitch back here in between the The stitch is back here. So it can be nice and tight. We don't want nothing to come apart. I'm getting a smaller one here just to get, get it through. Well, this has been a real challenge, but I think I'm happy with the bag though. I mean, it's a nice little small size. It's, you know, classy, sporty, if you want to put it that way. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll have a little video on the pictures at the end. Thank you so much. This is all new to me. It's a new design creation of mine. I'm sure there's probably thousands of them out there. But I did my own, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. And then, of course, I'm going to do a few more and tie it in, and then uh, cut the thread. And uh, I think, yeah, I can't really uh, stand that up now because you guys won't be able to see it, but I think it's real pretty really nice okay I forgot to mention 
you can put these uh, snap-ons by sewing it on the inside and snap it. I almost forgot that part. Okay, so that'd be perfect to firmly close your bag. Or you could just crochet singles, a little strap on the side and a button up front and just go over with uh, single crochets, also a little strap on there. But I think the easiest is a little snap on stitch there. Okay, you can buy this at your dollar do store, uh, Dollar Tree, very simple, a couple of cents and they come in packages. Mine comes in packages of six. I think it's just perfect for that. Okay. So until next time, everyone, thank you so much. I think I'll call it a uh, spring bag. I don't know what to name it, but I'll just call it spring bag. I think that's the best. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.